हेलो उल कंटिन्यू टू टू दि पावर के फैक्टोरियल डिजाइन इन लास्ट लेक्चर यू हैव सीन टू टू दि पावर टू फैक्टोरियल डिजाइन In this lecture, we will see two to the power three factorial design. So, what have you seen in two to the power two factorial design? We have considered two factors A with two labels, B with two labels, and then if A and B both have two labels, then we got. Four treatment combinations for A minus plus B minus plus or minus one plus one minus one plus one, which we have said low, high, low, and high, and this is one factorial factorial points this is another factorial points another factorial points another factorial points and from there we have seen the this is basically the geometric view from there we have seen the design matrix where we have written a and b and ab And our runs are experimental runs, and then we have given some notation for this point is one, this point is A, this point is B, and this point AB. So when A is minus, B is minus, this notation actually we say that total of Y, this is given as one. And then when this one plus one, this one minus one, this is given as a. Then when this is minus one, this is plus one, this one termed as b. And this is plus one, this also plus one, this is termed a b. So this four treatment combination. And the interaction a b we found out by multiplying a column versus b column. If you multiply these two, this will be plus. Minus plus plus minus 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 plus minus plus plus plus. So the design matrix when we say we write basically here minus one plus one minus one plus one minus one minus one plus one plus one plus one minus one minus one plus one. Okay. And then we have computed that A effect which we said that A Plus y bar when a is plus minus y bar when a is at minus level, irrespective of the position of b factor. Similarly, b effect we have computed y y bar b plus minus y bar b minus, and the a b interaction we have computed when we say that average of y when a b Both same level minus y bar of a b at different level. This one we have seen, and we have said another thing that the contrast contrast C when a particular column is multiplied by the the total column, then you will get the contrast. So for C A, the contrast will be will be minus one plus one minus one plus one this times one A B A B. You will get this one as minus one plus A minus B plus A B, which is basically A B plus A. Minus b minus one. This is your contrast of A. Similarly, contrast of 
contrast of B, C B and contrast of A B all those things can be calculated by multiplying the respect the dot product of these two this column vis a vis this column this column vis a vis this column dot product will give you contrast B this vis a vis this will give you contrast C. And once you know the contrast C that means you will see that this this how to compute the A effect B effect A B effect those things we have discussed. Today we will we will see the same thing for 2 to the power 3 factorial design. Okay. So, in this class what we will see? We see that what are the what is statistical analysis of 2 to the power design. Then we will go for 2 to the power k general design okay. and the lecture is prepared based on chapter 6 of design analysis of experiment written by D C Montgomery. You see this is a very important slide when we have 3 factors each at 2 levels you will be getting a cube like demonstration the geometric view you will become a cube and then from here how do you get this design matrix A B C that I will discuss first. Now, you see the so see this one the cube this is a point represented by within bracket 1 that means, this is a point where all 3 are at low level this is a point which is represented by A that means, A this point is that point where the factor A is at high level and other two factors at low level. This is a point this point is represented by B that means, factor B at high level factor A and C at low level this is point represented by C this is the fact where C is at high level and others are low level. Now, this is the point where A B that means, A and B are at same level A at high level and B at high level. Okay. So, similarly B C, similarly A B C. Okay. So, how are you drawing first each you just think of that this axis is C, this axis is A and there is another axis Okay. So, this one is 1 that mean A A, A minus B at minus C at minus low level. This is your A means A at plus B at minus C at minus. This one is B where B at plus rest minus this is a b. So, a and b at plus level c minus level. So, similarly this one is c and so, if it is if it is c it is b this is b c then what happened this one a and this is c this one is a c and this one is a b c. Here what happened a b and C all at plus level high levels. Here B and C at plus level means high level. Here only C at plus at plus level means C at high level, rest are at low levels. So, this is your geometric view. Now, from this geometric view too, we want to go to design matrix. So, in the design matrix there will be row wise runs how many runs will be there 2 to the power 3 equal to 8 runs. So, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 runs and suppose if I say run i and then column will be there will be column the column represent the factors. What are those factors? Factor A, factor B, factor C. So, 
we want to put we want to put against each of the runs what is the what is our plus minus sign this one we will use a formula call the jth column jth column starting from a means a b c for the for the factors jth column for the factor will have 2 to the power j minus 1 2 to the power j minus 1 minus 1 followed by 2 to the power j minus 1 plus 1. So, we start with 2 to the power j minus 1 and then then what happened this plus minus will be there. Suppose, if I say this is my first column, this is my second column, this is my third column. So, how many plus minus the repetition will be there 2 to the power j minus 1 equal to 2 to the power 1 minus 1 equal to 2 to the power 0 equal to 1. So, 1 minus followed by 1 plus you repeat this. For the second column it will be 2 to the power 2 minus 1 so equal to 2. So, 2 minus followed by 2 plus what will be the third one 2 to the power 3 minus 1 basically 4. So, 4 minus by 4 plus this will be the repetition. Okay. So, this matrix is known as design matrix. So, now <coughs> if I want is if I have the total of y here. So, y total. So, this is 1 means the all observation. So, this at low. So, it is 1. So, I will use another color. So, this is 1. Now, at the second run a is at high. So, this will be and b c at low level a third one b at high other two at low. So, b fourth one a b at high c at low that is why a b fifth one c at high others are low c sixth one a c at high level positive and b at low a c seventh one b c at high level a at low level. So, it is b c eighth one all three are at high level a p c. Okay. So, one hand one b c these are basically representing the combinations other hand also this will be represented by the total what is observed at that treatment combination with reference to the y. Okay. So, this is what is known as from geometric view to our the design matrix. Now, what I will show you I will show you another important table which is known as the how do the estimating the effect and SS and contrast for different fact effects factorial effects. I have told you in fact, we have discussed earlier that if there are three factors a b c then the main effects will be 3 a b and c 2 a interaction effect will be a b a c b c and 3 way interaction will be a b c. So, essentially we require knowing now in order to estimate the effect a b c a b a c b c a b c as well as the sum square contribution of all those effects, we require to find out con on a concept called contrast. So, that means, we require to have contrast for A, contrast for B, contrast for C, similarly A B, A C, B C and A B C. So, in order to get this, we use a table of algebraic signs. What is this algebraic sign? This one. First, we will write down the treatment combination 
and this also will be represented later by the total treatment combination if you find C you will get how many treatment combination <coughs> first is all low A at high B at high A B both at high C at high A C at high B C at high and A B C at high. And what is the what is the uh, the general rule? You you find out A B C from the design matrix. What you found out minus plus minus plus minus plus minus plus. This is for A. For B minus minus plus plus minus minus plus plus. For C minus 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 plus 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 plus. Now, what you require when A B is there you insert A B here. So, I use another color. So, A B here. So, what will be A B? A column multiplied by this. So, this is plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 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 1 minus minus plus 1 my plus minus minus 1 minus plus minus 1 plus plus 1. So, see what happened what is happening here if you see the column a how many minus there are 4 minus 4 plus. So, equal equal number of equal number of minus and plus now go to b the same. So, here it is basically 4 number of minus and 4 number of plus we have 8 runs treatment combination. Now, that will happen to a b also you see plus 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 plus. So, 4 plus 4 minus for c also 4 plus 4 minus. So, once you multiply a and b you will be getting a b column now you want to find out a c column you want to find out BC column and what more you want to find out ABC column. How do you find out AC? Multiplied A versus C. So, minus minus plus plus minus 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 plus plus minus 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 plus minus plus 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 minus plus minus plus plus plus. 1, 2, 3, 4 the checkpoint is equal number of plus and minus. So, find out B C. So, B C you multiplied B column versus C column minus minus plus minus minus plus plus minus minus plus minus 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 plus minus minus plus minus plus 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 plus. Now, if you want to <coughs> get the C A B C, so take any one suppose B C into A. So, minus plus minus plus 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 minus minus plus plus minus 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 plus plus minus 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 plus minus plus 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 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so, this is what is your algebraic signs algebraic signs and and this one the treatment combination column this also give you the y total this one basically the total of y when all are that also. So, if you want to get contrast C A you multiplied these two take dot product of these two column how you just put minus 1 plus 1 all put 1 here. So, 1 1 1 1 minus minus 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 minus 1 1 like this. So, if you ask uh, that what is then contrast for A, it will be just A B C plus A C 
प्लस ए बी प्लस ए माइनस माइनस यू सी व्हाट विल हैपन माइनस बी सी माइनस ए सी बी सी माइनस नॉट ए सी बी सी माइनस सी माइनस सॉरी बी सी ए बी सी प्लस दिस इज प्लस ए सी प्लस सो ए बी प्लस then a plus so what is remaining bc <coughs> bc minus then c minus b minus so you write b here here also you write c then minus 1 so this is the contrast for a now if you want to know the contrast for abc this effect so that mean this will be minus 1 plus a प्लस बी माइनस सी ए बी दिस वन माइनस ए बी प्लस सी माइनस ए सी माइनस बी सी प्लस ए बी सी सो आई कैन राइट लाइक दिस ए बी सी प्लस प्लस ए प्लस बी प्लस सी माइनस ए बी माइनस बी सी माइनस ए सी माइनस वन this is contrast for abc similarly contrast for other thing also you can find out okay now the some of the basic or interesting thing about this matrix is there is one matrix here which is known as i okay so in this particular diagram we can add i matrix sorry i column Where everything will be one here. All eight of the rows will contain one. This is known as identity element. This is known as identity element. Okay, and this one is used to find out the grand total. To find out the grand total. How? If you multiplied i versus this matrix, this 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 column versus this column in this matrix, so if you take the dot product, what will happen? You will take sum of all those values, one a all those things. Earlier I said one represent the total of all y values when experiment is conducted at this setting, a at for a setting like this. So that means sum of all those things will give you the grand total. okay so again i told you that first one is this second one is that each column contains equal number of plus and minus except column 1 this we have discussed the product of any two columns yield another column a and b when you multiply it gives you a b column if you multiply a and c you will get a c column similarly if you multiplied ab bar and c you will be getting abc column suppose you multiplied ab with a what you will get you will get b column ab a a into a, a square when you make this column square all will be positive so only b column will remain then so that's why any two column if you merge you will get another if you multiply if you will get another column the fourth one is the sum of product of the signs in any column is zero obviously as there are equal number of positive and negative signs so when you sum up they will give you the zero value and this is orthogonal design okay so if you just you take dot product of this and this what you will get suppose let me take the dot product of the first column a A is minus one plus one, so minus one plus one minus one plus one minus one plus one minus one plus one. What is this is my A? If I take the dot product with the B one minus 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 one minus one plus one plus one, then minus one minus one plus one plus one. This is my B column minus plus minus. B is minus minus all those things. If you 
multiply this what you are getting this into this is 1 ok. Then this into this this is minus this is minus this this into this plus 1 this into this minus 1. So, this into this minus 1 this into this plus 1. So, like this you will be getting equal number of plus and minus and finally, it will be 0 and he said that if you multiply the two column the you will get another column. So, sum of this will lead to 0. So, this is orthogonal. So, now once you have this then you have the contrast you can find out the effect. So, effect will be effect equal to if I say let let C equal to contrast. Now, C A is contrast A, C B is contrast B like this, then you are getting contrast by multiplying the treatment column into the respective column, then effect will be contrast square sorry contrast not squares contrast divided by 2 to the power k minus 1 into n, where k is number of factors consider. If k equal to 3, then effect equal to c by 2 to the power 3 minus 2 means 4 n. So, similarly, some squares will be contrast square divided by 2 to the power k into n. So, for 3 for k equal to 3 it will be s s will be c square by 8 n. Now, you already have seen how what are the contrast values. So, you will be able to compute effect as well as s s. Okay. So, this is what is given in this slide effect is this like this. So, now main effect a a contrast is a b c a a plus a b plus a c plus a b c minus 1 minus b minus c minus b c. So, this will be when divided by 4 n. So, it will give you main effect a similarly main effect b similarly main effect c. So, this this the computation the physical meaning is known to you we have discussed earlier. Now, here we have say, said that once you have the matrix representing the algebraic signs of the effects, you will be able to find out the contrast. Now, when you you find you divide contrast by appropriate quantity like here 4 n when it is a 3 factor case, if it is k factor case 2 to the power k minus 1 into n then you will be getting the effect. So, a effect will be computed using this formula b this formula c this formula. Similarly, a b will be computed using this formula, a c will be computed using this formula, b c using this formula and a b c using this formula. So, it is easy one you, you know that I have already explained how it is to be done. So, now, so then what will be the case for general to the power k factorial design? For general design, so general to, to, to the power k factorial design. So, how do estimate the contrast? So, contrast will be, so there are k number of factors. So, contrast a b c dot 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 k if I say k factor, this will be a plus minus 1, b plus minus 1, c plus minus 1 dot 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 then ultimately k plus minus 1. So, and then that huge here the huge minus 1 if the effect is included is included and huge plus 1 if the effect is excluded. What does it mean? The meaning is that suppose I have 3 factors a b c, then I want to know the contrast for a, then what I will write I write a minus 1 because I, I have included a here and b plus 1 and c plus 1 because b and c are not included here in the contrast calculation. So, this once you 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 
multiply and take the you will find out this will be a b c plus a b plus a c plus a minus b minus c minus b c minus 1 it will be this one this is what you have seen earlier also suppose if you are interested to know a b c then here all a b c included so a plus sorry a minus 1 b minus 1 and c minus 1 this will give you the desired contrast c a b case so a minus included so a minus 1 b included b minus 1 c not included c plus 1 this will give you the general contrast and then effect effect will be as i told you the contrast divided by 2 to the power k minus 1 into n and ss will be contrast divided by 2 to the power k into n so you will be able to find out contrast and all those things and then the general ANOVA table will be like this all sources of variation main effect interaction effect and then their sum square and degrees of freedom will be always one because there are two levels for each factor so for a b c a b b c all they will be only one degrees of freedom okay so <coughs> as a result <coughs> as a result what will happen i will explain as you are <coughs> suppose three factors a b a b c a c b c a b c so a having so what is the degree of freedom now a having two levels so 2 minus 1 degree of freedom will be 1 b 1 a b a minus 1 b minus 1 1 into 1 1 c 1 same way it is 1 this also 1 a minus 1 b minus 1 c minus 1 all multiplication this will be 1 so okay so suppose you your to <coughs> then error then total suppose you have 2 to the power 3 equal to 8 settings n replications then what happened 8 n minus 1 will be here the total degrees of freedom error degrees of freedom will be this by subtraction okay so that we will find now let us see one see one example here <coughs> to the power 3 design a b c so the same nomenclature we have used here and there are three replicates and this total is represented by the sum of this three will give you 950 this is the data now we will see how we have computed contrast and all those things here this total i have written here now a column plus minus sign this minus 1 plus 1 is this when you multiply this by this dot product if you make you get this one when you take sum of all those things you are getting contrast similarly for sum of this will give you contrast b sum of this will give you contrast c once you have contrast then you find out the effect effect is contrast by by what to the power that means here 4 n so what is n equal to 3 4 into 3 12 so 1027 by 12 is this 299 by 12 is this 10360 will by this then what will be ss ss will be contrast square by 8 n 8 into 3 24 so 1027 square by 24 is this 299 square by 24 is this and this square by 24 is this so this is a, a b c in the same manner a b a c b c a b c so a b c column is in the design mat uh, algebraic matrix is this then the totals are like this so multiplying the two you are getting this and contrast will be sum of this you are getting contrast everywhere you are getting effect you are getting ss so i have shown you how using contrast you will be able to find out all the effects all the ss refer with reference to the main effects with reference to two way interactions with reference to three way interactions once you have all those things calculation you compute now the ANOVA table so ANOVA table sources of variation there will be seven sources or eight sources of variation including error now first one what is the SS SS is 4397.04 so 4397.04 in the same manner all SS you write down 
and what is the degree of freedom for total there are 24 observation degree of freedom is 23 how many degrees are lost for the model parameter 7 each having 1 degree of freedom so 7 degree lost for this so how many remaining for error 23 minus 7 is 16 then you find out mean square so here in fact for the model parameters sum square and mean square will become same because they are is only 1 degree of freedom but error mean square will be reduced because there are substantial degrees of freedom available for error and then find out the f0 f0 is nothing but mean square uh, that source or the effect by the mean square error for example that f0 for uh, a is 43947 this value divided by this value will give you 3.04 in the same manner you see. So, now what happened you see the uh, table now we have considered 0 0.10 alpha value and 1 16. So, this value is 3.05 interestingly this is the value which will be compared for all the tabulated F 0 because all the model parameters have 1 degree of freedom and all model parameters are compared with error with 16 degrees of freedom here. Now, you see that A, C and A, B, C these are significant with reference to F 0 although A value is 3.04 which is slightly less than 3.05 under such situation it is better to include this into the model or keep this as a significant variable. So, then <coughs> how many uh, we have all those things. So, as A, B uh, significant A and C significant. So, their interaction A C also we should keep in addition A B C is significant. So, what happened? So, we are also keeping B for further analysis because B C interaction is also there. So, that is why in we want to find out the response surface keeping beta 0 that is the intercept beta 1, beta 2, beta 3 and beta 1, 2, 3 because this is what is the interaction significant it is a peculiar example data the reason is that the second order interaction are not significant, but third order interaction become uh, 1 to 3 beta 1 to 3 become significant it may be due to uh, the, the way we have generated the data that arbitrariness is there, but whatever may be the situation but case such situation if arise it we have to do in this manner and then what is our response surface response surface is the beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1 beta 2 x 2 beta 3 x 3 minus this because this is what is negatively uh, negatively influencing. Okay. So, <coughs> this is our response surface now using the response surface you can find out the you can find out the contour plot also keeping money keep uh, uh, varying suppose x 1 x 2 keeping x 3 at a certain level let it be 1 you can see what is the variability uh, how y is varying with reference to change in x 1 and x 2 or other way keeping x 1 at a certain value uh, and you change x 2 x 3 or x 3 at a certain x 2 at a certain value change this you will be getting the response of and, and the contour plots and I told you what the use of contour plot earlier it will be in the same way. Now, here few more thing that uh, standard error of uh, beta uh, we just have 1 4 this is calculated and then beta uh, how do you basically find out the uh, error estimates these are also given and our ultimate aim is here in regression model to see that what is the model fit it is 0 0.50 it is not a good fit model. Okay. So, what we have seen that using ANOVA you have also you have seen that there are few sources of variation which are contributing, but if we consider the overall effect of the of this model is concerned uh, while explaining the variability of y through r through regression using r square you are getting uh, 0.5 50 percent explanation which may not be a good one. But whatever may be the thing, but this hypothesis is rejected here that there is no effect of the parameters uh, it, uh, of, of the controllable factors it is not correct. There are some of the controllable factors and their interactions are significant and 
use this this uh, result carefully and get the benefit like where to set the process finally okay so we have <coughs> used montgomery book i told you and also we have used another site that www.itl.nis.gov uh, just uh, we have gone through the site also and we have read this and got some some benefits out of it thank you very much thanks a lot